Welcome to our newly restored octagon room that's been transformed. Um, the work was undertaken by Donald Insel Associates with Hare and Humphreys. And um, as you move into the room, probably the biggest change that you'll see is the exposed window. So this was originally bricked up and um, it's been uncovered, um, which gives more architectural balance to the room and also allows more natural light to come in. And you can also see that the room has been repainted. Um, there are over 100 paint samples taken and 11 decorative schemes unearthed. And the decorative, de decorative scheme that we've gone for is the second one dating from 1750 when the link building was added and it's a slight, slightly lighter um, colour scheme to the original 1720 scheme. And then um, looking up in the space is our stunning gilded chandelier. So this is made from carved lime wood that's been gilded with 23 and a half carat gold and um, is based on a photograph we had of the chandelier that appeared in the octagon room in the 1940s. And again, um, over the fireplace in the octagon room is a wonderful um, painted copy of the Panini painting um, that again um, was in existence in the octagon room um, in the 1940s, um, possibly earlier, um, probably um, put in by Nelly Arnides, who bought the building in 1926 and um, vanished in the late 1960s. So we had a, a black and white photograph to work from and we managed to track down two similar compositions that exist, one in Warsaw Gallery and one in Manchester City Art Gallery.